Good job, baby. See this? Hi, I'm Daniel Sayers, the owner of Wildlife X Team here in San Antonio and Austin. And we have a wonderful team all over the state of Texas that are out there trapping and relocating. You know, I've been trapping all my life. I've uh, been doing it since I was a kid in the Everglades, growing up, catching snakes, alligators, all sorts of critters. Some of the animals that we remove are raccoons, squirrels, rats, skunks, armadillos, snakes, bobcats, ringtail cats, birds. And then the, one of the other things that are pretty native to this area would be bats. A lot of bats. Uh, tens to hundreds of bats. So wildlife causes a lot of damage. They will tear through your roof deck, tear through your soffits. When they get in the attic, they are going to urinate and defecate and contaminate your attic. And now you have these, these particles that can carry lots of different diseases being sucked down through the air ducts, through your air vents, into your home, and right into your lungs. So I had a customer that had allergies and asthma and she was constantly sick the day that i showed up her eyes were red her nose was running and she's like this is the way it always is and, blah, blah, blah. and so i get up in the attic and i realize oh my gosh she's infected infested with mice about a month two months later i get a text message she lets me know her nose isn't running every day her eyes aren't red all the time anymore and she was just so thrilled just recently we were called to a house that had had multiple snakes reported seen in the house so we found one inside the bathroom, inside the toilet. The second one was not so easy to find. Uh, it was a juvenile rat snake, and it had weaseled and crawled its way inside of the wall in the kitchen. Now, fortunate for us, we had a little snake camera. We were trying to follow the path of where we thought it was. He was still there. Literally, we placed, we put some spray on the end of my snake camera and lured the snake out with a scent. And as soon as he popped his head out, we grabbed him. From the wall. Most of the time, when you when you have a snake in your home, they're they're there for a reason. They didn't come in to see you. That's for sure. They, they're there to eat. Pull some skunks from the you know the, underneath the porch. You know the baby skunks after trapping the mother and the father, and and that was a wonderful moment because we got to keep them all together. We went and relocated them all together, and it was it was hilarious to watch the mother just just ferociously trying to save her baby. Uh, once we let him out, just looking at, turning back and looking at him, sticking our little tail up, and then running off with the babies. That was really great. Easy, easy. You got him okay, honey? Yes, ma'am. Oh he's yeah. He's so big. Yeah, he's not too bad. They're not bad when they're when they're not tearing up anything. Our philosophy is that this is their world too, right? And. A lot of times people are very upset that these animals came into their world, their homes. But where else are they to go? There you go. Go on. Oh. And he's under. They're just trying to find a place to sleep. You know, they don't want to harm you. They don't want nothing to do with you. You want to safely relocate them somewhere where they have access to food and water and they can carry on with their lives.